you. What up? All right. Um, so uh, we got another one from Joke World. Hmm. Okay. Joke World. Yeah. What we got? This is another best moments from uh, Bobby Lee and Joey Diaz. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's about to be some more crazy stories. The craziest, the craziest, yeah. probably the two craziest storytellers. Wonder if uh, Bobby Lee's gonna divulge some more information. Of course. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> of course. About himself. That is uh, not funny, but you know, the way he explains it is just hilarious. How, you know. The horrible yeah. stories. Right, 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 right. Sometimes it's good to just laugh at these things. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. What's the deal with airplane peanuts? My father is from, um, my father was a street guy. My father during the Korean War used to hustle. He never went to school. He was in gangs and stuff. And then he joined the Korean military. But my dad was a hoodlum. So I'm from, you know what I mean? Korean trash almost. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, so it's like, and then we, my dad works hard. And he, we live in the suburbs. But I'm around all these, you know, white girls and stuff. They don't want nothing to do with me. So it's like, you know, you get drunk, you're 15, 16, and your friend pulls out his penis. You know, I did it. I made a mistake. No, you're very oh sexual. My God. I'm you're highly so sexual. <laughs> and I used to go to those, like, F Street in San Diego. We had those F Street bookstores. And they used to have those um, uh. masturbation booths. You know one of those? Oh, no. You sneak in, the, you go in the back, and the floor is sticky. It makes uh. it Are they people having line sex, or? No, you would movie. close the door. You close the door and then you put, you know what I mean, dollar Boom. bills or quarters in, right? Or F Street had these tokens. You had to go to the front, right, you know, the give tokens. them 40 bucks and then they give you tokens. And you put the tokens in, and then you, there's a button. There's two buttons, like, you know what I mean, changing channels. And they, they were always like the puddle of cum, you know? Oh! You had to stick your fingers in cu- puddle of cum. Was this before the oh! you go there? Yeah, this is in ni- late 80s. Right? Oh my God! So people, was that no? But they had VCRs by then, right? Yeah, but I went to the. Yeah, but I was a kid. He was a kid. I was so nineteen. I'm not gonna go home oh, to my parents' Jesus. house. Yeah. What I had when I was a kid was you go in, and there was a bed in the middle. Where? Yeah. <laughs> Six. That was his number. Yeah. Uh, the there was bed. a bed in the middle, and there was a guy fucking like this fat chick. And then live? Be, live. And then there'd be windows <laughs> all around on 42nd Street. Same thing. You walked in, you locked the door, you put token in, the window would slide up. Yeah. And then there was the ones that had the plexiglass that you just watched and people were fucking, you could look around and see the guys jerking off like heads banging. It's fucking creepy, man. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. oh, fuck yeah. When I was 15, yeah. Yeah, you have to. You don't know. You don't know. Uh, That's the first time you see like somebody actually fucking in front and you can smell a pussy. You know, <laughs> you were 15? They didn't give a fuck. They weren't proof. That's probably in the 70s, right? That's the 70s, man. They didn't proof you. Jesus Christ. And you'd walk in and there'd be a, gre- uh, there'd be a fucking janitor. And he'd go into every room and the door would open and somebody would walk out. Before he'd go in there, he'd go in and drop the mop and fucking ah. go back in with all sperm and shit. And then you go in there and put, and you have to be careful what you touched. And they'd have sex in front of you. I think I did it twice, guys, you know. Just, you know stupid. But then there was times I was in the city and I'd just go in there just to see what was going on. Lee, you got a girl or what? Uh, no, I'm, I'm single now. What happened? Uh, we were just together for four and a half years and... I'm not ready to get married. She's, oh, okay. We're still close. We're still friends. But yeah. he's been going on new dates lately. He's yeah, I've been, been he's recently been, been dating. It's been interesting. He's been hitting new boundaries. Yeah. Are you high right now? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, you seem very high right now. <laughs> Wait yeah. till later. Wait till you call me. What? Are you getting more high now? Because you seem a little high right now. Me? No, no, I'm good. He, he doesn't want to stop. So, like, oh, oh, he, he, like, what are you, a rat? You keep asking me. You constantly ask, ask me, do you want me another bong hit? Sure, I gotta ask you because you, you look a little uncomfortable. Did you eat one of these gummies yet or what? Yeah, yeah, that and the, uh, something else. What do you mean? We had a little mushroom you cap. You did? Sure. Yeah. What's a mushroom cap? Just a little mushroom. Cap. And what does that do? Makes you see things. <laughs> but why do you do that now? <laughs> because on a Monday. Because that's the reason and, why. It's Monday. Oh, I see. Most party, everybody wants to do shit on Friday. Professionals <laughs> yeah. do shit on Monday. But we do stuff right. on Friday too. <laughs> huh? We do stuff on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I see you on Friday. In those days, she used to linger on Mondays too, Bobby Lee. Yeah. 
and she throw a tell on and shit like that and Pablo Francisco and Dane Cook <laughs> and put me behind one of those savages or something and then I, I go in between Dane Cook and uh, Eddie Griffin would show up and do six hours. Eddie Griffin. <laughs> but, you know, she was lingering on Monday, so that confidence. And then one day I got a call at my house. Hey, man, they're looking for you on Mad TV. Mm. What are you talking about, Mad TV? I'm not a Browning. <laughs> I'm not a fucking Browning. Mad TV's not going to sing me. <laughs> are you fucking crazy? Sure enough, he did it. Boom, I went in, read for the chick. He said, sit here, rent for some other chick. Can you shoot tomorrow? Yeah. No, can you rehearse tomorrow? I went in there. We didn't shoot in front of a live audience. That's what saved me. Pre-tip. If I would have shot in front of a live audience on Mad TV, I would have got fired. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because I know. I, I would have fell apart at no, the you fucking you scene. You wouldn't have. Would oh, Bobby Lee, are you fucked? Not that early, Bobby. Not that early. That's being thrown to the wolves. That's 18 type shit going out there and hitting it in front of a live audience. But then you would have seen me do it and you'd be like, oh, I can do that because I would have fucked up. <laughs> I would have never. I go line and they go, it's yes. Yes. <laughs> I would have failed at the scene if Matt TV would have been in front of a live audience. When they told me it was taped, like I, I got, I went home and I didn't do blow. Like, I knew it was that <laughs> in the scene? What? With you? No. Oh. This was t- four years before you. This was oh, a before sketch. Oh. Yeah. This was 2000. Will Sasso was in it. Will Sasso. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the chick who I always see, she's always in Studio City there. Nicole Garcia. And uh, Nicole uh, Sullivan. Sullivan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicole Garcia is who cast me. Yeah, Nicole's the best. The best. She's the best. And there was just a Lee, when I walked off the Mad TV set, that's the first time I really talked shit as a comedian. Because to me, I knew I wasn't going to be on Saturday Night Live. But I got mad TV. Okay, what you got? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me bump somebody tonight, Mitzi Shaw. <laughs> Why are you bumping? Because I did mad TV, Mitzi Shaw. Let me get up there and shit. And then you get bumped by James Stevens III. Playing the fucking piano and shit. Oh, my. Lee, are you okay? Yeah. He's fine. Yeah, but you you just seem like you're drifting in and out of our... That's, that's our, what he does every day. Don't I know, but you, you, you looked over there, and he's then like, you started thinking about something. And he's my little retarded. Yeah, but he's not... You're, are you retarded? <laughs> no, no, no. He's, he's just... No, I haven't, I I haven't been tested yet, but I think I'm okay. I gave yeah. some tranquilizers. Yeah, but you get, oh, you're all googly-eyed right now. You're, yeah, 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 I gave him 100 milligrams. He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> he's a good man. That Friday, I, I mean, I had people in Miami, and I bought Blow in Miami that Friday, and then that Thursday, I got high. But that Saturday, I was talking to the waitress, and the waitress comes over to me and they go, hey, man, can you get some blow? And she goes, yeah. So I go, how much? 90, whatever. I give her the buck money. 20 minutes later, the club manager comes in. He goes, hey, man, don't ever ask my waitress for blow again. I mean, she ain't given it to me already. Yeah. He goes, next time, come <laughs> to me. <laughs> That's not where I thought you were going with it. <laughs> yeah. I go, I didn't know. Nobody fucking sent me the memo. You know, next time, I'll go to you. Yeah. Okay. That Sunday night, whoever the club owner was, I don't need to mention his name. I do the early show at 7. The fucking show finishes at 8.30. Do you know at 11 o'clock, I still wasn't paid because he was doing blow in the green room with whoever the fuck, some of the, one of the other headliners. And I could even smell the Freemason. Okay? <laughs> Damn. I bought the gram of Coke. I got high. I didn't get high at the club. I didn't hit on any of the waitresses. I got high at my cousin's. Friday, whatever. Saturday, I got high in the hotel. You could, the condo was so bad. The condo didn't even have a fucking a shower curtain. I mean, I had to stay with my cousin. <laughs> the point of the story is I came home, and three months later, some headliner comes up to me. He goes, hey, man, what would you do in West Palm Beach? That owner will hate you. He says you were doing fucking blow. Okay, the owner was doing blow <laughs> on Saturday and Sunday fucking night in the green room with the other comic that was at the other. Because yeah. they had Davey and they had whatever. doesn't really matter who the fuck it was, but it's amazing how people will say shit. It depends how we take it. I was very insulted. And I saw him after that. I never talked to him again. Ever since then, things have changed. And now when I see him, he's my best friend and he wants to talk and you're doing great. But it's fucking crazy. Yeah. I was at the store one night in the very beginning, 97, and I went to the door guy and I asked him for blow. And I gave him 100 bucks and he gave me 620s for 100. So I had 620s. I think I had an audition the next morning. I was going to do two of them. I had four of them that I would have given away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do a couple bumps. A comic comes in there. Well known comic comes in. I just met him and he goes, hey man, 
I'm fucking exhausted. I go, you want a blast? He goes, yeah. I give him two blasts, and I go, hey, take one of the packages. Do you know a month later, he went to a pitch meeting, and my name came up, and the guy called me a coke fiend. <laughs> <laughs> After I gave wait, him the package. Wait, 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 The famous guy? Yeah, pretty much. You don't have any name though. No. Uh, Are you friends with this famous he guy? He apologized now? instead because I hit him up. Yeah. He did? Yeah, he hit him up. I would have fucking killed him. Years <laughs> later, I told him. He asked me what happened. When it comes to industry, dude. Oh, my God. Somebody should've... fucks you with industry, oh, dude. Oh, he had tears in his eyes. He did that? He, oh, he had. Oh, my I, I was going to kill him for you just Because now. I was really mad when I was telling him. I went in the bank, went out, sat there, and sweated out that hot fucking trailer until I figured out there was air conditioning. I sat in there like a fucking victim in one of those, uh, like Adam Sandler in wow. the box. I didn't even know there was air conditioning. This was my first anything. You just like And the trailer was the size of this. Yeah, you just like It was me. the size of this. This was how big, this is how much money they spent back then. This is 15 years ago. I didn't know nothing. Like, that day, I'm not going to lie to people. At all. I didn't know nothing. There was no acting class. I knew the comedy store, 1145. If I got there before Paul Mooney, if he was running late, I get 11.45 before. Who was the chick that moved to New York that looked like a man? Boma <laughs> Baker? No, no. She would be <laughs> hysterical. <laughs> you don't know nothing, Ali. And all of a sudden, they call for you in the trailer. And they fight. You go, yeah, they're ready for you. And you walk down and they go, all right, you got to stand on your line. Stand on your mark. What fuck? What mark are you talking about? Yeah. I don't know, and they're putting bean bags on my feet, and I'm like, what the they fuck? They say something like, you're getting shot on the jib. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is a jib? What are you talking about? Okay, action. I said my line, that line I must have said 80 times. When I walked off that set, I go, I'll never work again. <laughs> that was my movie career down the two. We're doing this podcast shit, revealing ourselves, saying things that we shouldn't be saying, but still, like, this is the most freeing thing I've ever done in my career, which is this podcast shit. I love it. I love it too, dude. Because we get to be together as a family. I get to see your little fucking Cuban titties sticking out of that white shirt. <laughs> Not really, no. What are you going to do? I'm not going to do nothing. I'm not going to do nothing, but your titties are sticking I out. I have two blocks around the corner. With a tuxedo <laughs> on and big guts. Look at his little fucking, fucking green, little, little titties there. Oh, he's fucked <laughs> up. He's got the fucking... He's got little good titties, huh? He's got a... Uh, what's the guy that killed uh, Tupac? Biggie? Yeah, you got Biggie's little white titties. No, no. What's <laughs> Just when you think you may have heard it all. Man. What was going on in the in the late in the seventies and the late eighties? <laughs> the sex rooms. <laughs> right. Oh my god. I've heard about those. Uh, yeah. Sound like a horror movie. But that sound like um what's that movie with Tom Cruise? Eyes wide shut. Uh, <laughs> you gotta wear masks and shit. <laughs> But that doesn't sound like that sounds very very like low budget. Yeah. <laughs> like you press the button man. and see him in. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't touch anything in those. Rooms. I wouldn't be in there if I knew that. Man. Like you walk, it's the and Bobby Lee looked like he was excited. He's like, ooh, the floor is sticky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, I love the button. Like, he liked touching yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, um, Bobby Lee's an interesting individual, man. And then he said he was like fifteen when he went there. Mm-hmm. Oh my mm-hmm. god. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, man. Times have changed. They have. They have. But I imagine there's some places like that still now today. Oh, yeah. That you can go to. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> really find out. Yeah. <laughs> Sticky floors. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's funny. <laughs> Joey Diaz said if he would have been, uh, if it been live at Mad TV, he said it would have been over. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know they didn't live uh, film or live do it in front of a live audience. Oh, man. Now I can see that for some of them. Now I know in Living Color some of it was. Yeah, I think they had a live audience. Right. But not Mad TV. I guess it's easier than that with the audience not being oh, there. sure. For sure. You, know, you, you see all the SNL takes and shit. And yeah. 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 Yeah, man. I knew this would be good. Yeah. Yeah.